let's have a look at some ideas when we're sketching polynomials. We did talk about this well, back in term one, I think, when we were looking at curve sketching of some simple graphs and that. But let's just go over it again. So you got y equals polynomial x. I suppose the first idea is the y-intercept. Y-intercept is always going to be the constant because you, you find the y-intercept when x equals zero. You sub zero into a polynomial, you're just going to be left with a constant. So we'll have a look at this one. Now, we don't need to expand out, of course. We just need the constants to work it out. So if I look at the constant, I've got 1 times negative 1 cubed times 2 squared. Negative, hang on, yeah, negative 4. So I'll plot that point in. So there's the constant. The x-intercepts are the roots, well, or the zeros. <laughs> Sometimes we call it one, we call it the other. Oh, fortunately, it's already factorised for me. So I know that the x-intercepts will be negative 1, 1, and negative 2. So, okay, we've got those. Now, this is what we call an idea of dominance. Okay, the, what dominates... And in a polynomial, the leading term always dominates. Because as you're getting closer and closer to infinity, now say we've got a cubic, for instance, and uh, you sub infinity into infinity squared, sure, that's big. Oh, but infinity cubed, oh, it's huge. And infinity squared may as well not be there because it's so much bigger. That's, I guess, one way of thinking about it. So you really only need the leading term. But where that's useful for is it can tell us where we start drawing the graph and end, end up, because it'll do exactly the same as if I had just said, draw the leading term. So a leading term here, we'd have x times x cubed, which is x to the 4, uh, times x squared, x to the power of 6. So if I'd said to you, hey, draw x to the power of 6, you would have drawn... A U shape. So we know this will look start and finish like x to the 6. So I'll start up there and I know the graph will finish up there. Okay. Now we look at the actual x intercepts or roots themselves. They behave like the factor. So if it's an even power, so power 2s, power 4, whatever, we know it's going to turn and touch again with that sort of U shape. So looking at our graph, x plus 2 is squared. So over at negative 2, I know I'm going to have a U-shape. Combine that with the information that I know that the graph starts up here, and know that, all right, it's going to do something like that at negative 2. It's going to come down, turn, go back up. Odd powers, then, will look like the, um, well, the cubic. Well, it has that inflection. And it will be a horizontal point of inflection. Okay? So cubed, five. So when I say odd, I'm not talking about power of one. Because power of one would act like a straight line. It just cuts through like normal. So minus one cubed. So over there at positive one, we know it finishes up there. So it'll come through like that. We know it has to go down to negative four. We also know it'll cut through negative one. I guess the only thing we don't know is how far down do we go? Um, will it turn back up over here in the negatives or the positives? Well, now we know calculus, we could find that as well. But if we wanted just a rough, rough sketch like that, actually, it's pretty accurate, that one. <laughs> we, we, it's good enough. Turns out that turning point is on the left-hand side of the axis. So there it is in all its glory. Now, if you can factorise it completely, so you get x minus a to the power of n, then you know it's just going to be a basic curve, and it's shifted horizontally. Let's have a look at this one. x minus 1 to the 4, x plus 1 cubed, x plus 2 squared, x minus 2. That's what it ends up looking like. So let's just look over those things again. So I would have gone, oh, yeah, the y-intercept, minus 1 to the power of 4, well, that's 1. 1 cubed, that's 1. 2 squared, I'm now times 4. So, I'd, OK, I'll plot that at negative 8. Um, X-intercepts, I've got a 1, negative 1, negative 2, positive 2. What will they look like? Well, over here at uh, negative 2, like the parabola, at negative 1, there it is, like the cubic. You'll notice over at positive 1, though, 
it's a lot flatter at the base, steeper at the sides. But as those powers go up, that's what's going to happen to those basic curves. They get flatter at the base, steeper at the sides. And then it turns at some point, again, we could use calculus and find exactly where that is, comes back up to, to 2. All right, so there's a quick little recap on sketching polynomials.